we're gonna set up a lurk command in stream elements. My name is Tree and I make streamish support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. Before I begin, I am also a streamer, so go follow me on twitch.tv slash tree. Link is down below in the description. Let's go to streamelements.com. We're gonna log in or we go to dashboard. Then here we're gonna go to chat pod and chat commands. We click on custom, click on add new command. We can have a new command or one from a template. If you look at the template ones, they're right here, but we need to make a new one. So we're gonna click on new or keep it that way. Our command name is gonna be lurk. Because I already have a lurk command, I'm just gonna call it lurk2 for a second. Then we have the response. We can have it say the response in chat. We can have it mention the person that says it in chat. We can have it be reply to the message somebody sent. So if somebody does exclamation mark lurk, we can have it reply to that. Or we can whisper that person, so send a private message to that person. I'm going to keep it on say. And the user level is going to be everyone, because we want everyone to be able to use this command, right? We can also have it for subscribers, regular fish, mods, or only for you. But I think with a lurk command, you want everybody to be able to lurk, so you want everybody to be able to use this command. Alright, so what I usually do is tell them to have a nice lurk. But I think it would be more personal if we have the username of this person in there. How do we know these usernames? Well, here it says you can use variables. It opens in a new tab, so it's okay to click on it. What we want is the user. You can, you, there's so many right here that you can use, but we want the user that used the command. I found user in here, and we can see this variable accepts a username as input. So if you do exclamation mark lurk and then tree, it will say tree. But otherwise it will say your own name, because if no username is provided, the variable will default to the user who triggered the command. So if you did it and your name is Hank, it will say Hank. If you do it and you do exclamation mark lurk space tree, it will say tree. All right, there's a couple versions of this that we can use. All these things have something to do with user. But we can do this user one. So I'm going to just copy this, have a nice lurk, and we're going to paste it in between here. Now it will say, have a nice lurk, tree if I trigger it, or Hank if Hank triggers it. Besides from these options, there are some secret advanced options. They're right here, so we're going to click on them. Here we can say, when does it trigger? If we're online, if we're offline, or if we're online and offline. We can also hide the command, which means that people can't see them in the command list, but I wouldn't do that. Again, here we can just set, say mention and stuff like that. We can also make this cost loyalty points. I do have a video about loyalty points right here, so check that out if you haven't yet. I would keep this on zero, as I don't want anybody to pay to lurk. Then we have a cooldown. This is a cooldown for the person who triggered it. This means that 15 minutes, this user can't use this command again. There's also a global cooldown. For five minutes, nobody can use this command again. I'll just put this on zero for the lurk because we want to be able that multiple people can lurk. But this one person that typed lurk 15 minutes ago, like you don't want to do it more than once at 15 minutes, right? So we're just going to keep this on 15. We can also have aliases. They're an alternative way to trigger something. So gone instead of lurk. Uh, leave instead of lurk. Leave um, out of away from keyboard, things like that. And command keywords, keywords are an alternative way to trigger a command. They can be anywhere in a message. I would keep this empty because if you put something in here, if that word's gonna appear somewhere in somebody's message, it's gonna say have a license lurk, basically. We can also activate this only when a certain keyword is in the stream title. And we can also use Google RE2 syntax I wouldn't worry about that. And make sure that you activate this command. Now, another thing you want to do is you want to make stream elements a moderator. So make sure that you go to your Twitch chat, type slash mod stream elements and press enter. It will say that stream elements is already a moderator in your chat. Don't worry about that. You can't do it too often, but if you forget to do it, you might run into some problems. If you want to see more Stream Elements videos, make sure to check out this playlist. If you haven't yet, subscribe right here to not miss anything. If you want to see some OBS tutorials, you will see them right here. And if you want to follow me on my gameplay channel where I post super cool gameplay videos, you can do that right here. I'll see you there!